What's up, everybody? Jason here for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We just sold out 2023 Bowman Draft Super Jumbo Baseball. Six box case break. Pick your team's number one, guys. Remember, this one is five chrome prospect autographs per box. Six box cases, five packs per box. 120 cards per pack, guys. And all the cards are going to ship, which is always great. So there's everybody there. Uh, Jeremy got the Angels last spot mojo. Nice. And thank you all to, for buying in. So Joe has the case right there. Okay, let's open it up. And you can see the top camera right there. I'll be pack stacking right over here. There we go. in the box as well, guys. No, Randy, you didn't make me mad. <laughs> It'd be pretty difficult to make me mad. I just pointed out that you were wrong. That's all. Yeah, it was a time and frame. It was a time yeah, frame. It was a time frame, exactly. And I'm here for the important part, this part. True. To help pack stack. So I timed it perfectly. Yeah, guys, I don't know if we're going to... I mean, we might have more Super Jumbo... Up as picker teams, I'm not sure. We didn't get as much as that as we did hobby, uh, hobby jumbo. But like I said, we got a lot of picker teams out, guys. They take about an hour or so a break, so you know, we kind of have to yeah, try to sell, sell out, yeah. out some more. The better, especially while we have some help here yeah. on the YouTube side. Yeah, Dodger guy, don't fall. Dodger, Dodger ornament. What are you doing? His head is like so heavy. It's too heavy. No, oh, here, can you take it? I'll I'm sorry. It. I'll take it. Oh, it's an actual ornament. I thought it was actually just standing. Dodger guy, you can sit right there. I don't know how should, how I just should I just keep these like this? Or you want, yeah, you want, I was, you want two big stacks? Yeah, I was gonna do a stack? couple stacks, maybe yeah, like three stacks per. You wanna take these? Yeah. You can take that stack. And take this stack. And that stack right there. I'm gonna grab another box right over here. All right, guys, here we go. Two boxes each. Another empty box. This is the ornament oh, we were right. talking about. Yeah. And Nathan Detmer. It's kind of scary with like no face. Yeah, yeah. It kind of freaks me out actually. Detmer. 
to one of two fifty. Okay, guys, we have like a top six top load list, um, which we'll try to pull as much as we can. But if not, the sorting and shipping team knows they have the same list. So if we miss any, they're looking out for those players on those teams. For the most part, I think after the first case, I kind of got it down, but I'll still probably miss a few. Steen's there. Matt All Steen's, Mac, Max Clark. Jake DeLeo. Their first auto. Wyatt Langford, guys like that. Tommy Hawk. It's freaking awesome. What? His name's Tommy Hawk. Tommy Hawk? Mm -hmm. Nice. Max Clark. Max Clark. <laughs> super number? Yeah, super. Super. Langford. Super. And we got a Ty. Ty Pete. Glass. Got another super. Let me have a Saban Ceballos or Cabello, sorry. Ceballos, Cabello's. Cedric Ceballos. Ceballos, is that what it is? Ceballos. Ceballos. I don't know how. He, I don't know. I mean, I'm sure he's Latino, right? Yeah, he's he's Puerto Rican from San Juan. San Juan. Another empty box right there. Max Clark. Lazardo Montes. So four ninety nine. Here we got a wall drip. Hurston Waldrop. You got it? Yeah. Working on the first box, guys. Oh, what are the odds of this? The tops of the cards. Oh, it's the same Garrett player. Garrett Bowman, Garrett Bowman. <laughs> There's Andrew Pickney, Andrew Pickney, and Rhett Louder, Rhett Louder. I wouldn't doubt it's the same wow. coalition of face. Wow. All right, then we got a tie to 150 for the Seattle Mariners. Super. You can kind of see it on my camera over there. And then we got a Cooper Angle. Blue way for the Guardians to 150. Cleveland Guardians, that is Brian.
empty box. See on the top camera. Then we got Christian Apor. Those speckled bases are not numbered though. Jack Mahoney? 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 Yeah. Mahoney? You see him crying the other day? Pat Mahomes? Yeah. We went to Josh Allen. It was a BS call, bro. Yeah, it's it's like a Josh Allen had to do with it. Yeah. Wild finish, man. All right, we got Garrett Forrester. Green for the Pirates. That's number 33 out of 99. I mean, Kadarius is looking right at the ball. Like, bro, I know. He, can you like, not? Can, can't you not see that you're offside? It's like, if it was just like maybe a toe off, maybe I'd be like, all right, sure, fine. But, but they're, ups really off they're upset because that play resulted in a touchdown and it was called yeah. back. If it was just like an incomplete pass, they wouldn't have been mad. But yeah, I mean, sorry, Pat. The refs can warn you, I guess. But I mean, at that point, you still have to look for yourself. I mean, I don't know. I mean, they said they they've been calling that more mm -hmm. yeah. this season too. So yeah, I mean, they've been really on it. It's just something that they should just know. So what'd you think of Otani signing, huh? I mean, that whole day was wild. That Friday, that <laughs> I know Friday it was, yeah. <laughs> was wild. I was just like, is he in Toronto? He's not. I know, right? People there were, are, people people are, are tracking training. planes. And then it ended up being like Harjavec. Yeah, the shark guy. Harjavec was on the, on, the fucking, on the plane, private jet. Grab yeah. Another box right here. But now when he signed, I was like, damn, he did it. I was like, he did it. It was Shark Tank guy. Then it was just like, then Jaden Ham. People were like, he's he's still at home. I mean, it was it was a wild day. And, and we and we, and we had no, and we didn't still know anything. And then nothing. We, thought, yeah, yeah. we still didn't know anything. Yeah, I had told Rex, I, I'm not gonna believe anything anymore because I fell for that too. Oh, did I you? messaged him like, damn, he's going to Toronto. I was like, god damn it, like he's gonna go. Well, away. I woke up kind of on the later Cole side. Cole Foster. So by the time I woke up, about an hour later, like Bob Nightingale had already refuted the report. He was like, yeah. oh no, he's he's still in Orange County, and yeah. so I was like, oh, so he's not gonna be with Toronto. But yeah, I was just saying because like it seems like Jeff Passan has been very quiet, but it's, he doesn't know, so he's just like, I'm not gonna post something just to be the first person to tweet it right, out. Right. I'm right. just gonna make sure I'm right before I do anything. So that kind of like was reassuring. You want to do me a favor before you start yeah, that box? This. Slide all that, all those over. We can put some more boxes on your screen. Let's see. Let's see. A little more space. Right. Which ones are connected? Uh, so it's like the these two tall there. ones and the short. These are so that's one box. That's one box. This is one box. Right, you don't have to take everything, but if you could take a couple yeah. boxes, that would be nice. The auto count is. Actually, I'm just going to stack yeah, like the two tower. short stacks on top of each other. And make one big stack right here. All right, that's good. And yeah, guys, there's a huge stack right here. All right, all that right there. And then you have Joe rip, ripping those. You see him on the top camera, anyways. Yeah. But. And I'm about to rip the. Uh, I'm about to rip the final box. Let's just split these up into two tall stacks here. Yeah, but what an interesting contract, right? Like, but I I like it, and I think for Otani, I mean, that proves right there he doesn't really care for the money up front. He wants and he's, to win. He wants to win, yeah. I mean, and it wasn't just offered only for the Dodgers. Well, he offered it everywhere, they said er, that. Er, he, everyone, everyone's crying because it's just like, oh, that's just a luxury tax loophole. And it's just like... But anybody could do bro, that. But no, right, player, exactly. yeah, but no players... Most players want, don't want to defer They don't want to defer their money. Yeah, they want they it all want now. They want that up front, yeah. So it's just like, 
Don't blame the Dodgers. Mm -hmm. It's part of the rules that they collectively bargain. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's no limitations on deferrals. That's what, they, that's what it says. And uh, and Otani chose to. Most superstars aren't. Yeah. Or, or they only defer. Like, they only defer like four or five years. Actually. Yeah, yeah. You know no, yeah. Mean? And I just thought like Rex was like, oh, it might hurt in ten years. I'm like, dude, in ten years, Mookie Betts' contract will be done with probably. Right. I was like, Freddie Freeman's contract will be done. I was like, they're only gonna worry about Otani, maybe. Yeah, and the, like, and they'll be signing the next superstar. Yeah, exactly. I was like, and that gives them basically seven hundred million dollars to spend now. Right. I mean, and they were talking about Yamamoto. Yamamoto's on the table. He's all right? like, dude, he, he's making people fly to L.A. <laughs> it's like everyone's flying to L.A. to see him. Right. I was like, so that makes it seem like, you know, he's kind of still on the fence. Of, I mean, I don't know. Tani has a lot of swing now. Yeah. I mean, Yamamoto's probably just like, all right, well. I want to play with more. I'm, I'm still in, I'm here in L.A. I mean. It's either Dodgers and who else wants to come see me? <laughs> and that's the one thing, yeah, Monty, is that Otani makes like $40 million in endorsements a year. I think that's more right, than exactly. enough for him. That's way more than enough. And he knows more that. More than enough for anybody. Yeah, so why why wait until later, later? Why not wait? I want to win. I wasted the first six years going to the wrong team. Nothing happened. I loved it, but nothing happened. Now I really want to win. That's what I want to focus on. Right. AJ Ewing. So that's kind of the cool part of it now. So it will be interesting how much money they're going to spend more. I mean, if Otani delivers multiple World Series... Yeah, that's all that matters. Yeah, I mean, that's, the, that's the whole thing. We had 10 years. <laughs> so. Right. I mean, even, hopefully, the, even in the back end of that deal, he could still be like a closer. Yeah. You know, if, if his arm starts to wear down, then it's just like, all right, you're just going to do one inning, one inning max effort. Uh -huh. You could have a... 40, 40 season, 40 homers, 40 saves. Isaiah Colby, yeah, him? and then he can still be a DH for the rest of his career. Yeah, absolutely. So. All right, all boxes are out. Good luck, everybody. All right, thank you. So let's shave down a little bit of time there. And we got Nolan McLean. That's the one thing. That was the other loophole for him is that if he's not a California resident by 2033, 34, whatever the case is, and he doesn't have to worry about the California tax. I mean, he can just move. Yeah, I, I would assume he'd just claim residency in like a state like Nevada or Florida, or wherever. Or even if he goes back home, I don't know how that works. Yeah, I don't know what Japan tax is. But like, yeah, I mean, as long as he just moves out of LA by then, he, he, gets, he gets to avoid all that too. Right, exactly. Which is smart. <laughs> you know, the only thing, the good thing for the Dodgers about that is that they're not paying any interest on that contract. So, no. I mean, they're just going to pay what they owe him. You know what I did hear though? It's kind of kind of cool. It's not like the Dodgers still have to pay it. You yeah. know what I mean? It mm -hmm. goes into escrow though. Yeah. So like half, like three quarters of his deal is yeah. just going to go into escrow and just going to sit there. It's going to sit there, yeah. So that's why they said that he counts for like forty something just in million. That rare case that a team could go bankrupt and not yeah. pay a guy. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's like so that's that might still out of pocket, but you know, salary like luxury tax wise. Right, Jacob Gonzalez. It's a big help. And then Nazan Zantanello to one ninety nine. And remember that the first Dodgers game yeah. is in is in Korea. Oh. I know, dude. Isn't that crazy? So it's just gonna be like <laughs> nuts, bro. You know, and Korea is a big uh, baseball country too. So it's like, yeah. Well, they were talking about well the same day, right? Uh, first opening day was like two hundred dollars. Now it's like four hundred, easily. Like it went up like two hundred dollars. I think ESPN picked up that Seoul game as well. Yeah. Korea no, game. it's going to be nuts, dude. I think it's like... It's <laughs> like the Dodgers will make all that money back in a few years. Like, literally through merchandise yeah. and just ticket sales and concession I mean, stands. The crazy thing is, they don't even have to raise prices. They can just no. call up, like... like, What's that airline that spawned? United Arab Emirates, sure, right? Yeah. They'll be like, hey, guess what? Uh, the sales guys are like, it's going to be 25% more. <laughs> you know, right. hey, like, you know... Jalisco Estrella, you know, like, yeah, guess no. what, that that big thing you have in the back over there? Right, <laughs> like, it's exactly, the endorsements are going to be need a little, more. We're going to need a little bit more if we want to keep that sponsorship. Hey, yeah. Bank of America, hey, t -Mobile. No, that's what I'm saying, it's, it's a win-win. Whatever Juan Otani was going to make money. Because, like, they're not going to, they're not going to pass much of that to the fans, because yeah. that would just be bad PR. But guess and what? Yona Cox, I know, everyone's all making, all like, those sponsors, though. $40 Michelada. You know, <laughs> like, hey, Fifteen dollar Dodger dog. <laughs> UCLA UCLA Healthcare. Guess what? You're gonna spend yeah. a little bit more on that advertising this year. Yeah, no, well, it makes sense. So yeah, either way, they'll be fine. Yeah. I mean, I bought my spring training tickets right when I seen it. I bought them that same morning. I was like, just in case he's I there. I don't know if he'll be there, but I was like, yeah, maybe he, maybe if well, he's I, just warming up. Or like just, I'm definitely know. going to spring training this year. Yeah. Right? 
Absolutely. Like I was like, he might, he maybe he's just batting, or maybe he's just around the players just to see. I don't. I just yeah. want to see him in a Dodger blue yeah. uniform, like in because spring's so casual that uh-huh. he just probably just be chilling. Yeah. Because he should be able to hit by then, right? I mean, as long as hitting, should he yeah, should be he fine. Should be able to hit by then. So yeah, I'm going the first week of March. All right, Sabin. Why Langford? Yeah, but I mean, that, it's moving the needle. I mean, people are already talking about. I'm going to spring training for sure. You yeah. Know, like, well, I I, like, I bought them that morning, and there was still a lot of seats left. And I was like, well, I mean, I just bought normal seats. They were like fifty bucks. I was just like, but I figure exactly people are gonna sell them or gonna resell them too. I've done that that day. Yeah. I was like, or just go to another different ballpark, go see them in the Angels, or well, go my, see their schedule, you know? See where yeah, they you know play. what? My, my friend who lives in Scottsdale, mm-hmm. they're right next to the Giants complex. Yeah, see whenever they play and the Giants. there's like a Dodgers game on like a Thursday or Friday that mm-hmm. I'm going to try to go to. Yeah, exactly, do that. Exciting times, ladies and gentlemen. No, it's Exciting fun. Times. Jace Borofin. You know, yeah, that's what I'm saying. The money will be back quickly, Monty. That's why whoever whoever won the Otani bid was, was going to be just fine. The Dodgers TV network is just like advertising seem more expensive there, too. I hope like Jerry Harrison Jr. clap back on that guy. On that Toronto <laughs> guy? Yeah. Pre order your Otani jersey, guys. Just, just stick with being nice guy, Toronto. I know, bro. The second they just kind of went mean. I know, like, okay, he talked about, like, he talked a little bad on Toronto, like, oh, you know, it's cold up there, and, okay, but he, this one just went in on his career. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, man, dude, I was just like, take it personal, dude. Like, I know. <laughs> I was just like, it's, yeah, you can talk about L.A. traffic, L.A. taxes, yeah. all that sort of stuff. Fine, fine, fine. <laughs> I'm was, telling Jerry that he does funny. He's, he's, yeah. I know just as much Dodgers as he does. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> That's so funny, dude. He's like, Joe one and a half year career in Toronto. I was like, dang. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Alright guys, so we're pretty much finishing up two boxes right here. Or sorry, third box, I should say, three boxes. And another Whitman. This time it's just an autograph base, though. Giants. What a mark. Alright, still looking for like a big Wowzer hit, guys. We have a whole case to go still, though, but... Start getting some nice stuff. Langford and then Ariel Castro. All right, so I'm gonna put some more stacks here into a frame, just so you guys can see. These ones might be a little mixed up, guys. That's all from the same case, but just because of the amount of room we have here, we don't want to really. I didn't want to drop no stacks, so I kind of moved around some stacks to make it easier to move into frames. As long as the auto counts. But yeah, as long as the auto's in there, we're good, but for the most part, it's been pretty good so far. All right, Ty Floyd to 189. And then we got Farmello. For the Mariners. Get in the zone, auto And we got Chris Clark to 125 for the Angels.
Cam Collar to four ninety nine. And Brandon or Braden Taylor. Nice color there for the Rays. That's number to 199. Tampa Bay Rays, that's going to Mark. So good, so good. Uh, Robel Mayer, and then we got Maui Ahuna to 199. Bum, bum. Next stack here, guys. We got Marcus Brown. Clark, and then we got Wyatt Hodapol for the Mets to 150. And we got another McLean. I think that was our second one. For the Mets. Mets is Nicholas. Max Clark inserts. And we got Roman Anthony. Three more stacks right here into frame, and then the remaining four over there, guys.
Camilo Diaz to four ninety nine. And we got a Mac Horvath refractor there for the Orioles to 499 Orioles. That's going to Joe. And we got Brock Vandenberg, Speckle. And whoa, look at this. How about a Tommy Troy? That looks like a little uh, Ray Wave glass autograph. Number to 75. That's sick right there. That's going to go to the Diamondbacks, which is going to Nancy. Dylan He our head and then we got Luke Keshaw Nice, and then Wyatt Langford for the Texas Rangers. That's going to go to Tristan. There you go, Tris. Tris. Jimmy Bean. I love that. In, you remember the first Ted movie? When you played the song aloud? Ted was like, he was hiding with all the other Ted's. <laughs> and then, like, that's how he got him to come out. Like, right. <laughs> Aldridge and then Mac Horvath again to one or 50. Swing Caroline. You want to hit the Brady Super yet? Oh, man, damn. This fucking place is burning down if we hit that, imagine. Oh, man. <laughs> we just burned the rest of the cases, forget it. <laughs> Dude, if the if the 12 out of 50 is going to go for half a million dollars. <laughs> I don't think he inscribed that out the Super, but still.
All right, then we got... Wow, we have a guy named Calvin Harris. It's freaking oh, awesome. Calvin Harris. Part-time ball player, part-time DJ. There you go, that's uh, for the White Sox. Jeremy Taylor with that one. Then we got Justin Crawford there. Whoa, what the hell? This card is like... I don't know how to describe that, but it's a little indented. Oh, man, it's, yeah, it's like a little beat oh, up no. right there. What happened? Got I caught in the machine? Yeah. Might have got caught in the machine, guys, but... Or, you know what? It could have been, like, too high up in the pack, and when they sealed it... Oh, yeah. Got so, the, the unfortunately, creepy. just let you know. I mean, it's not numbered. It's just, just a color base, but... Phillies, Mark. You can see that right there. Luckily, it's not like an auto or anything like that. Okay, guys, here we go. And also, this card right here at the top was at the bottom. So we just wanted to put it to the top to not like damage or anything like that. But that is number 99, Teddy McGraw. Wyatt Lang for a to four ninety nine paper base. We'll top of that right now. Leave it over there. And we got a purple Nazin Zantanello to four ninety nine for the uh, Red Sox going to Bob. Part of happy hour. We got Matt Shaw and Amarion Boyd. Michael Carrico for the Cubs. Alright, so I'm going to put these couple stacks here to frame now. So, here's one. Here's another. And again, this insert was there at the bottom. You 
my favorite job? Yeah. Can you top load those autographs so that way when I do a recap, yes. it's sort of top of them? Thank you, sir. Uh, Brady House to 199. I have the top loads right now. Yes, give me that stack. Alright, Ty Floyd. They're saying, is it good for baseball? I was like, why? It was, why is it bad? Players can do this all the time. Yeah. But players don't want that, so don't be mad that Otani, the biggest player, decides he wants to defer his money. Yeah, that'll never happen again. No, no, I know that's what I'm saying, though, but, like, it's just, like, don't be mad at that, that he wanted to do that. Max Anderson. What happened to the Eagles on Sunday night? Bro, I, don't, I was honestly, I, <laughs> I was watching it at a, at a bar with my friends, and I honestly didn't even watch like the second half. I was just done with it already. Just done with it. No, I, it seemed like to me, uh, first of all, yeah, they, they got outplayed, but they turned over the ball. Hurts fumbled. Yeah, there's a lot of turnovers. Devontae fumbled. Her, uh, J.J. Brown fumbled on like plays that they were driving, too. So that doesn't help. I mean, at one point, they were only down by two scores, and they had momentum. But, again, I think Devontae fumbled on that next drive. So definitely did not help at all. I mean, I'm not panicking. I mean, do they look like they're going to win a Super Bowl right now? No. But there's still time for them to get better. Out of the way first. And look, in their gauntlet, they went 4-2. and two. I mean, I'm, I'm happy. I mean, I didn't want to. I, I think I'm more upset that the way they lost more than them losing them. But they won four and two. If if they can, yeah. I mean, Seahawks would be tough for them honestly because they don't beat them. But other than that, they play the Giants twice and then they play the Cardinals. So they'll have a couple of weeks to kind of get it together. But it's not like this guy's fault. No, I mean they're ten and three, bro. I mean, I mean like, not that bad. Turnovers you can clean up. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. Like you know, but just the way they lost is more upsetting. Blake Mitchell and then Lazardo Montes. Yeah, I know, Pizzle, but it's okay. You know, it'll, it'll be good to beat down on the Cardinals just to get the confidence back up. Right, right You know, right. shit like easy, that. Easy, easy, easy. It's okay, though. Like I said, it's hard to go back-to-back Super Bowls, man. What was the last team that did it? Uh, Patriots. Right. But aside from that, it's not like uh, it's not uh, like Patriots opponents they ever faced. Tw- the same yeah, no, they didn't really. Yeah, they there was were always different, different teams every time. Yeah, Langford, the only team that's just been there every single year has been the Chiefs, really. Mm-hmm. Like either in the championship game or in the Super Bowl. We got a Xander Muth. Yeah, yeah, I guess that's okay. Yeah, this is yes, nice. So mad this weekend, freaking Tyreek Kill got injured and he freaking ruined my fantasy week. I mean, I had a horrible week in general. I only had like, I was in first place in my friends league the whole year, ten and two or whatever it was. I only lost two games, and I was facing the number two player, which is tied with me. But I, I was smoking him in overall points though, and he beat me by like ten points. But we both only had like sixty five, and he had like seventy five. Disgusting. I beat Teddy by three. Hurts had a horrible week, and then all Nick those lost, guys. And he's out, and I'm in the play. Max, Cl- oh yeah, I know, yeah, he jumped in. <laughs> Nick was so pissed at Teddy. Was Jason stuck. hit. And I Max the player out too. I started tasting real. They definitely do right now, Pizzle, and that's fine with me. As long look, I, I just I don't know I don't think they'll ever win the big one. They haven't even got to the championship game in years, so as long as they don't win a Super Bowl, I think the whole world would be just fine. I'd rather them have their hopes up right now and then just lose. Lose to the 49ers. Sell ban. Oh, salt to Iban, sorry. Salt to ban to two fifty. Da 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 that's the one thing I think most of us can agree on, besides you, if you're like a Cowboys fan already. But yeah, I mean, honestly, the Cowboys might end up going to the Super Bowl and losing, hopefully. <laughs> I mean, if they make the Super Bowl, all hell's going to break loose, first of all. 
But I'm just hoping for them. Like I said, how many years, in, even in the Romo area, where they were like the number one seed, best team in the league, Super Bowl aspirations, and then losing the division around. You know, so if something like that happens, I'm I'm totally fine with that. I, I'll let them have their let them have their happiness right now. But if they don't win in the end, that's all that matters to me. All right, then we got Landon. Uh, for the Devito's yeah, bro. Agent? No, not his agent. No, I seen the barbecue like uh, place. They had like a whole alley. His family was like giving out free barbecue at the games. It's this guy. That's allegedly his agent. Really? I think it's like one of his buddies who's like who's like dressing like a mid nineties mobster. <laughs> so fits the narrative. Kind of, yeah. I mean he's three and oh. It's just kinda of crazy. Good for him. He doesn't have anything to lose, you know? He's, no, he's, nothing. he's not meant to be the starter, so he's just having fun out there. How's the how's the how's the Devito hype over there in New York right now, Adam? Yeah, Adam Do you hate that right now, or what's the what's the Tommy Devito hype out there? Well, Zach Wilson had himself a nice game. Yeah, he did, and that's another thing too. Someone said that he, he told one of the players like, "What do I have to lose? I'm just gonna get benched again." <laughs> and he's like, right. "So he was playing with like no 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 reason to to fail. He's just like whatever. I've been benched more than enough times this year already." All right, we got Seth Keener. Say, I don't mind. I feel like my friends who are Giants fans think it's fun. Oh, oh yeah, I, I would be loving it right now if I'm a Giants what if guy. This is the next Brock Purdy. Though? I know. Like, yeah, what if? It, yeah, we're making fun of the guy, but then all of a sudden, yeah, he's really good. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't really affect you much. You guys are in different conferences, so even then, if they win, right? I mean, as long as they don't win a Super Bowl, put it that way, I guess. But yeah, I, I thought that I thought the Dolphins were going to win that game. I don't even I don't even see the last drive, how they lost. Jackson Wiggins. And then we got Kendall George for the Dodgers, Mark. They don't have a shot at the playoffs, right? Who? The Giants? Yeah. No, I don't think so. Mathematically, they probably have to win out and hope every single team in contender oh, loses, loses, probably. Yeah. They might even be eliminated. Or... Yeah, if you guys played in the NFC South and got Rodgers back in like two weeks, then yeah. NFC South right now is a the really... The Raiders played the N- yeah, NFC South? Yeah, uh, any team, yeah. Raiders would be only a game or two back. That's what I'm saying. Like every, every team that's just like either battled injuries or like, you know, just a couple games away, yeah. I don't know. This is why sometimes I kind of want to realign and kind of like best team, right? Numbers one through eight. Just get in, no matter what the division winner is. Because, I don't yeah. know, it's kind of tough. Because yeah. some teams get screwed. Build a whole team. 
Alright guys, this is the last two stacks here. Yeah. Right about the hour mark, guys. Awesome. No Brady's yet, Pizzle. This is only my second case. But they're, they're going to be tough to pull. But I think the amount of breakers that are breaking this all around the United States and world, if anything, are, that's what you probably see a lot of them, right? I mean, I can call her to 250. Red out of five non auto already? Damn. Yeah, that's money right there, bro. Man. That is money. Yeah, I, I would love to pull an autograph, but I mean, again, they only have out of 50s, 25, fives, and ones. So I'd be happy just pulling a nice color of his, at least. That's kind of a little bit more realistic, but I don't know. We might have cases that have like three different autographs in here. I don't know. We won't know until we open them. Who knows? Let's find out. You know, there's people buying boxes in the store. What if there's a Tom Brady in there? I don't know. And we got Luke Slayer. Discard? Yeah, it's just a base cards. That's what I'm saying. That's why I'm like, I would love to pull an autograph. Don't get me wrong, but I'm okay with just a color card. Wyatt Langford. All right, then we got Grant Taylor. The Langford's a beast, Joe Pizzle? I know, you, you must know a lot more of these guys. Or you'll be seeing some of these guys soon, right? And we got Brock uh, Rodden. That is true. You probably have seen a bunch, a chunk of them already, huh? <clears throat> I hit a sick diamond back earlier because I hit a red out of five. Oh yeah, Pizzle. How about how about Otani during spring training? That's gonna be uh, that'll be a good get. Tommy Troy. That's like the nickname. That, I think that's the mascot from the USC Trojans. Yeah. Tommy Trojan? Yeah, isn't it like Tommy yeah, Troy? So. <laughs> Tommy Trojan? Oh, he's taking my friend. I know. I'm I mean, so Dodgers is already yeah. packed, honestly. It'll be a he, zoo, he, yeah. Joe Pizzo knows zoo. it, so imagine even the... Uh, does he even sign? Does Otani even sign? I think Pizzle said he does sign, but for kids only, mm. which is good, right? I mean, although I would love an autograph, but I mean, Pizzle has a kid. Oh yeah. <laughs> Throw her out there and be like. De Paula, green grass. He signs for adults too? Okay, that's good. He ain't gonna sign for someone that comes in with 50 stacks though, right? Yeah. <laughs> this is like... Kershaw's only signs oh, okay. for kids. Well, that's good. I mean, I don't mind... I wouldn't mind signing for everybody. Adults and everything. But if I see someone with like... Multiple shit, I mean, I don't know. It's like, yeah. I kind of would get turned out like, now, bro, I can sign a couple, man. I mean... Yeah, one thing only. One, yeah. one thing per person. And if I see a kid come with a stack, then I know they're using their parents. Yeah, their parents like, yeah. yeah they're definitely using their parents. Yeah. 
I figured like you would come pizzle with like a backpack and like a trench coat and you just like open up <laughs> and like you have like you know baseballs, you have mini helmets, jerseys, <laughs> trading cards, all right. <laughs> I wonder if some players do get like starstruck, like, wow, this little girl just loves me, man. Like, yeah. has so many things for me to sign. <laughs> McLean. Max Clark. For Detroit, Matt Clark. Paul with that one. There you go. So we've gotten a couple of good autographs. It's just they kind of been base ones, so it hasn't been too exciting. I feel like color wise, we haven't really hit a crazy color. Definitely, definitely. I feel like had a really good jumbo case though. Still, the base ones will still sell extremely well. So I mean, I'm happy. It's just you know, sometimes you want to strive for better. You just want to, you just want to get the big stuff. Schemes. Langford. Wow, look at this. This is nice, though. Not an autograph, but a rose gold of Tommy Troy. 2 out of 10 for the Diamondbacks. Nancy with that one. That's sick right there. Kind of a little bit of a color match as well. CJ Kafus for the Guardians. And then Nolan McLean. I feel like we've seen a lot of him in this case. People are saying Drake makes him to go number one or two. He might. Well, he'll be a top five pick for sure. He's pretty young still, too. He was a retro sophomore, so he's technically the only one junior. So he should only be like 21, 20. Is he good enough to be He's pretty good. top five pick? Yeah. I mean, it also depends on the draft and the teams in the top five. Like, if they're that desperate, I mean, they might draft them. Right. And we got a red paper 505 Max Anderson, which is pretty nice. Put that in the top loader already. Nice, nice. And then should have maybe one more auto here. And Garrett Forrester for the Pirates. Alrighty, guys, and there you go. That was the break. So let me quickly just kind of sort through this. 
autograph wise. Do a quick recap. Calvin Harris. All right, so we have some like color here. Uh, Wyatt to four ninety nine, Langford paper. We got a Tommy Troy to ten rolls gold, and then we have a red paper Max Anderson. You should be able to pull an autograph, Pizzle. I don't know about the paper or the base cards, because obviously HTA is is a uh, is just autographs. But I'm not sure though. Matt Shaw, Bryce Eldridge, Head, Mayer, Langford, Pete, Langford, Mitchell, Clark. I don't know about that pistol, but where you, where's where's your sources? Cause that would change the that would change the whole ball game, man. Alright, then Waldrip, DeLeo, Whitman, Brofren, Foster, Engel, Farmello, Brown, McLean, Carrico, Anderson. Landon, Moraldis, uh, Seth Keener, uh, George, Sligger, Rodden, Forrester, McLean Refractor, Jonah Cox, uh, Blue, Forrester Green, Cooper Angle, Blue Wave, Bryden Taylor, um, Horvath, Calvin Harris, Refractor, Nazan, Zantanello, Purple, Xander, then we got KJ, uh, CJ Kfus. Then we did get a Max Clark. We got a nice Tommy Troy out of 75. And then Wyatt Langford. So there you go, guys. That was Super Jumbo PYT number one on jazbeescasebreaks.com, guys. Thank you.